Hi everyone, welcome back to the RTM develop series. So in this video, we will see how three different engineering roles like PCB designer, system engineer, manufacturing engineer collaborate or can work independently on their different roles. So in RTM develop, everyone works in the same project but what each role looks at and cares about is completely different so let's first talk about the pcb designing role so here uh, when you see on your project the pcb designer is more concerned about the circuit side the design side simulation side and the pcb design side so on the left side here is your project panel uh, here are the release releases here are all the releases of the project and here you can see the sample data user release this September 7 2025 9 3 a.m. so he is more concerned about the uh, his uh, this uh, this release is for the manufacturing purpose so the designer is more concerned about the circuit and he often uses the history panel as well to to see what was the last change he made and uh, what was the last change and what he uh, last changed he can also see uh, that uh, what's the difference between the updated and the previous commit so from by clicking on the three dots and on the schematics commit so he can see if um, the difference between the commit previous commit uh, with the updated one by clicking on the previous commit so uh, he, he is also concerned about the uh, assembly assistant as well because to see the 3d view and the components arrangement over here and where are all the components and what are the quantities uh, just like the bomb he he can see if there uh, if there is any missing component or does not have any 3d view so he can change that component or can add the 3d view so uh, these few uh, are the task of the uh, PCB designer who which which uh, the designers usually use so for the system engineer he looks uh, some broad view way uh, like uh, he is more uh, concerned about uh, what is the requirement of the project and uh, uh, what changes are made and what are the tasks for the designer what should be the in interfaces of the circuit uh, like if you are uh, designing a multi-board the system engineer will see the interfaces are linked together or is there any error or not so uh, or other constraints what are the constraints of the design and what are the status of the task like are they in to do or completed or uh, what's uh, the status uh, is there any other status of the project so he can uh, text the designers to make the changes as per the task assigned to him so uh, he's also concerned about the different other options as well but here you can see let's go back to the projects option and let me open the requirements portal over here and here the requirements are open as we have discussed in our previous video how can we create the requirements this basically uh, the system engineer creates the requirements and see what's the status of the requirements like fmu001 is an identifier and the text text is the fmu shall execute flight control loop at minimum this rate 
and what are the methods and v and v verification and validation activities is it one by one or zero by zero and he will automatically see zero by zero uh, v and v and see what's what was the task which is uh, still not validated and verified so he can add the change the priority level depending upon uh, the task if it is not uh, done from the long time then he can change the priority level to high so the designer will get the notification and he will change accordingly so these were few tasks of the system engineer so this is the task panel here is a single task that system engineer will see it's in under uh, in progress so he can change the priority level to high to uh, to to so it this task can be completed as early as possible yeah so now we have changed the task uh, priority level and that's uh, that's few tasks uh, which is more concerned about the system engineers is more concerned about these tasks and if we talk about the manufacturing engineer they are more concerned about the bomb the releases assembly assistant and this this releases option you will see is it uh, have the all the required files for the manufacturing like bomb uh, manufacturing uh, files other other manufacturing files like assembly file pick and place bomb file gerber pdfs and uh, stack up information so he will click on the more files option and see here are the files all the files over here this is the project file all the source files are there and he will see in the fabrication file gerber file is over here and drill file and fabrication file here on the pcb assemble file uh, you will see the bomb here is a step file as well pick and place assembly drawing schematic sprint so you can open its full version from here and analyze the bomb and other files and if uh, is there any missing thing or file so he can send it to the designer and uh, to add that file also so uh, he's he also looks for the components which are out of stock which are nrfd uh, like this uh, nrfnd means not recommended for the new design so it's okay to use for now if it's just for the testing purpose but uh, he's more concerned about end of life eol parts if there is any eol part so it means these that part should be changed some alternate part should be used so these were few roles of the different uh, engineering fields and for now that's all for today's video thanks for watching and follow us for the upcoming videos